I've had it! I don't like picking peanuts with a dirty windshield. Let's go pick some peanuts, y'all. Off. We're picking. A beautiful Wednesday afternoon in North Florida in the sand pile. These slime guns here got some peanuts on, boy. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. We are picking peanuts right here by the barn. We've got about 135 acres here. Looks good. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing, picking peanuts, putting them in the nut buggy, putting them in semis. So come along with us. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to this channel, touch the like button or click it, and let's get started. What is this? Huh. Weird. I got Jimbo walking behind me. He's uh, checking to make sure I'm not leaving any on the vine or blowing any out the back. Uh, these peanuts, we checked them yesterday, there's about 23, 24% moisture. And uh, they checked them this morning, they was like 18.4, so we should be right around our target of uh, 18 or below. One of them kind of close. Yeah, you looking good. Spitting out a good peanut every now and then, most for pops. Damn, Roger. Well, um, you, can look in, you can look in that auger and see if it's putting any trash in it. If it ain't putting trash in it, I can probably turn my air down a little bit. It's still like eight and a half. Yeah. If you want to come to a stop, I'll check it out. Gonna see how much trash we're putting in it. It's not a whole lot. We could uh, turn our air down a little bit. Won't spit out so many. Are you super clean? Oh, them babies are tough, Jim. Good rock. Huh? A rock. They're tough. Oh, no, that's a play golf. I think that's are tough. Let's probably back down a little bit. Ow, Don't hurt I bet yourself. I just told that sore open again. Yeah. Um, got a little bit of trash in there. Leaves. Not much. I wouldn't turn it down, but it's uh, these are these peanuts are tough. These are the 297s. I don't know. Oh, you probably about in the tip guards now. They tough. Uh, or tip that. and B, not tip guards. Tip and B. Yeah, they tough. Those headers all wrapped up. That's the second gear. Really? Yeah. But I ain't got no strippers in. I probably need to put some strippers in. We need to take them off the vine. Mm -hmm. I'll run it like it is. Usually, I mean, if it's engaging with strippers, if it ain't taking yeah. them off the vine, you know? Yeah. Well, look at that header and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> it ain't wrapped up bad yet, but it's, yeah. it's got something on it. It could be because I shut it off so quick, too. Could be, yeah. Hell, that hurt. That hurt, I know. Yeah, it didn't feel good. Nah. Welcome to my world. All right. Stay roll with it. Yeah, I say roll with Second it. Second gear? Yep. Try third in a little bit? Or? You can try third in a little bit. That's what I told Jeff. To try third in here in an hour or so. Okay, it's doing a good job running second gear. It's only 1.2 miles an hour. Usually, let the sun stay out a little bit longer, about an hour, say around two o'clock in the afternoon. We can bump it up to third and still does a good job. But we very seldom ever get out of third gear. Every now and then you can get in fourth gear if conditions are just perfect, but nine times out of 10, we run second and third. 
And that is why I'm not a big fan of picking peanuts because it's just so slow. But yeah, we out here, we got 120 acres in this field and we got a bunch of washes in this field. We got one in particular, it's just huge and uh, trying to pick peanuts around it is, it's kind of aggravating. Um, Cause I mean, it is quite a drop off. Uh, it's like a three foot drop off in some spots. So definitely don't want to hit that. You know, and on the other side over there, we're going to have have our duck our duck pond that, that I showed y'all a while back that we're gonna have to go around but yeah peanuts are picking great this field's picking great uh, we're we're running third gear right now ain't running into any issues knock on wood so we're kind of hoping we'll pick today Thursday and Friday these peanuts and uh, Corporate's kind of taking a break from plowing right now. I'm just gonna water. It's gonna water the the peanuts Saturday to kind of help loosen the soil up and start plowing again Sunday. And then so hopefully we'll get the weekend off. And then we'll come in Monday and we'll actually hopefully start cotton. And we'll pick some cotton, get the field picked, come and pick peanuts again. Looks like there's Kyle sitting there in the old 8430. Let's see what he's up to. What's up, buddy? What's up? What you watching? Uh, that new YouTube video. Who? Field Rose. Oh, the Field Rose? Is it good? It's great. Nice. You like it? I do, I like it. Out of all the YouTube channels you watch, would you say Field Rose is the best? Uh, eh, top five. Top, no. Eh. You gotta say yes, it is. All right. Yes. Perfect. All right, Kyle, we'll see you. Hi. Midland. Midland hooked us up. Right there. That's great. Look at that setup. That, that's a professional setup right there. Yeah, I hear you perfect on these Midland radios. I noticed uh, that I did a couple of shout outs of stuff for the folks that was commenting on our videos. And I don't know how in the world, but I don't think maybe this person hasn't commented on that one yet, but she always does. So Penny Haldeman, <laughs> thank you for, for keeping in touch with us. And, Letting us know what a good job we're doing. I didn't mean to leave you out the other day for sure. But uh, I guess I was reading them off that last video and I, you probably just hadn't had a chance to watch it yet. Hey, we're knocking the sugar in the gourd up here, man. We done picked a pile of peanuts. So I just got to the field. Jeff must be in like sixth gear. We're about to get Jeff here. Give us a load of peanuts. Hey there, Jeff. I'll get you at the end of the rope. One from Jeff and Keefe. That would give me a pretty good load to put on the semi. All right, get. And now we're dumping in the semi. Just don't want to spill them. Oh, goodness. Looks like Keefe is digging his picker out or something. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's wrong. That's all good. Keep some 
a trick little peanuts down right there. All right, thankfully it wasn't anything too bad. It's got a bunch of peanuts for some reason where it goes in the header. It's uh, like I'm bunching up and dropping some. Okay, it's that time to fly the drone. This is how close we are. Step out of the shop and there's the peanut field we're picking at. So it's always nice being close to the shop. If you do have a breakdown, which hopefully we don't, I probably shouldn't have said that. But uh, yeah, you're right here by the barn. You don't have to drive, load up everything and drive 10 miles to the field. So yeah, by the house. But anyways, y'all check out this awesome drone footage. Busted, catching me riding the dirt bike. Dirt bike. Yeah, <laughs> off, off, riding around. I got some good, good shots though. Well, good. Yep. Uh-huh. All right, everybody, it is the next day. And again, keeping our just talking, we're going on about five days of not a cloud in the sky. It's really creeping me out. I mean, surely most days, even when it's clear, you've got a little slither of a cloud here or there. But honestly, it's just, there's no clouds. It's just sun and airplanes everywhere you look. There was a helicopter, a, a helicopter, helicopter, and a jet and a commercial airline flying in the sky all day long. So comment, do you see as much activity in the air as we do in our part of the world, North Florida? I feel there's just airplanes all day long and clear skies, clear skies. Perfect picking weather though. Needs to rain because we're super dry, but uh, as far as picking peanuts, it's pretty good. And as you can tell, I'm in the middle of a massive bottom. I was able to plant, I believe, all of this, and then uh, then it all washed away shortly after we planted it. So huge amount of acres here that is just left out that uh, is what it is. Also, we've got a, uh, oh yeah, let's walk down here, I'll show you. It's the bad thing about bottoms. So never really dry out. This is the irrigation got stuck. Uh, last week we were watering these peanuts because it got so dry we had to water them to uh, plow them up and the uh, irrigation got stuck. So, well anyways, enough jib jabbing. I guess this will be a good time to end the video. So appreciate you guys watching until the end. Please drop us a comment. Tell us where you're watching from. Like the video. If you haven't done already, check out the Field Rose podcast. You can find that on uh, Spotify, Apple podcast, all that. And big news, we've got, we've actually got two, two big things coming out. One I'm super excited about and the other one I'm just excited about. So no November 4th, it's gonna be a big day. It's gonna be a big day. So you guys will be uh, notified once it gets closer of what this big news is. But anyway, I'm getting out of breath. I've had to walk and uh, yeah, let's end this video. Jesus loves you guys. Keep it in the field rows. We'll see ya, bye. Bye.